Good morning. No, it's not morning. <laughs> but this is for the Cast Iron Wednesday challenge. And for the month of April, it is for breakfast. So I'm actually cooking in my Dutch oven this afternoon, but it's for breakfast and lunch and dinner. But mainly breakfast. I started a tradition with Lola and Vicky and Dan of um, having brisket burritos for breakfast. When I lived in a house, I would always cook a brisket and bring it to our campouts. Well, I, since I don't have a house anymore, I have to cook it in the Dutch oven. I've only done it once and it turned out so I thought well since this is a breakfast challenge I would go ahead and do a brisket and thank you Vicki because she suggested it I was like well that's a good idea so I went to Walmart I had to go pick up some things lots of things did a major grocery haul and went ahead and bought a big brisket um, one that you have to trim yourself which I don't like doing that <laughs> but I did and I'm cooking it right now in my Dutch oven so let me show you my setup so I am cooking two uh, briskets and I'm gonna um, serve it to the guys here the um, the Rangers well all the staff that want it so I'm going to take it to work in the morning and we can have some brisket burritos and then if anybody wants any brisket sandwiches later on we can do that too. So I'm borrowing, and Monty thank you, I'm borrowing this Dutch oven from him and then that's my Dutch oven. Let's look at what it looks like inside. I've been cooking it about maybe an hour and 20 minutes now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks good. And that's Claude's brisket um, sauce. And I'll show you the other one. That was a smaller, thinner piece. And then this one is a, a whole lot bigger piece. I need to dump the coals. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna let it go for another 15 minutes. I'll clean the lids and start fresh. Got my coals going over here. I plan on cooking this. Got two bags of charcoal. So I plan on cooking this for about four hours um five hours <laughs> i'm just gonna let it cook all day looks good so far it's coming along i'll show you the finished product i have to show y'all the most perfect dog ever she's just laying over here by herself chewing on you a bone here let me have that that one's too small yeah, that one's too small. No, those are too small. Here, you're going to have this one. Okay, it's been cooking almost three and a half hours. So I want to show you. This one obviously was a smaller one. And then I put two little pieces. Oh, yeah. I think that one is probably getting really, really close to being done. Well, it's probably done. All right. I'm still just on one bag of coals, so that's good. And going to have lots and lots and lots of brisket. Hashtag cast iron Wednesday challenge. Well, I would call that done. 
Wow, yeah, it's off the chart. Doesn't that look good? My goodness. They're done. Been about four hours. So this was the one I was really worried about because it's so thick. The other one is a lot thinner and I knew it would take less time, but I'm gonna let, knock all the ashes off the tops. Let them just sit for 30, 45 minutes and then I'll pull them out and cut them up and have a burrito. It's time to get the briskets onto the cutting board and get those cut up and put them in some foil and some baggies. I'm going to use my knife that I won in a challenge from Bill Gaddy's channel. So I will link his channel below. And this is a knife from Crawdaddy Forge. He made this knife. And I love it. It's my food knife. I only use this for food. Well, bottle opener. But um, when I'm going to cook outside, this knife comes with me. So I'm going to put the brisket on the cutting board. And let's get started. Okay. I mean, it's just falling off, falling apart. Look at that. Ow. There's not a lot of cutting. Oh, yeah, look at that. You want to go, it's still hot. You want to go against the grain. Well, unless you have pieces that just fall apart. Now, oh, this is going to be great in a burrito. Some people like... I like just a breakfast burrito with the um, brisket, and then some like it with eggs. Of course, I'll put hot sauce in it. That is hot. That's a lot of meat, and I still have the big one to, to, to chop up. Thank y'all for joining me. Look at that. Look at that piece right there. Mmm. That's awesome. Look at that knife. That's awesome too, isn't it? So I am warming up a little bit of butter in my pan and I'm going to add my brisket. Add a little bit of cheese to that. Okay, a little bit more cheese. And that's what's for breakfast. Mm -hmm. 